When Hapa really wants to, they can create some really awesome aircraft models in scale 500 that we can all enjoy. Could this be one of them? We'll find out now. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A321-100 of Lufthansa. At the front of the box we have this lovely image of the aircraft in real life and we also provided with the Lufthansa branding. On the back side of the box we then have the image once more. We do also have the registration code and the name of the aircraft but that's about it for the box. So let's take a closer look at the model inside. And here she is, the Airbus A321-100 in the current livery of Lufthansa with the addition of the mouse. And the mouse is German for the mouse. Seems almost too obvious. Now, the mouse, other than being a little character of a mouse, is also the name of a TV show for children where kids can ask questions of how things are made and they then try to explain that. These can also be enjoyed by grown-ups, just saying. Anyway, the mouse and its little helper, the elephant, have been featured on this aircraft because the TV program followed the production of this aircraft in real life. Right, but enough about the livery, let's take a closer look at the aircraft model itself and at some of the many details this aircraft model holds for us. And we start off with the tail section where we have the new Lufthansa branding on the vertex stabilizer. Underneath that we have the sticker of the mouse and the elephant. I've tried to lighten up the elephant a little bit so it's a bit easier to see. It's a bit difficult because both the elephant and the uh, color of Lufthansa is dark blue, so hopefully you can see it. Next to that we then have the full registration code of the aircraft and the German flag. Uh, Above the fuselage we then have the sat dome and of course at the tail of the aircraft we also have a little bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. At the front of the aircraft across the fuselage we then have the writing of Lufthansa. Underneath that we have the aircraft type specification and the name of the aircraft. In this case the aircraft is named after the German city of Flensburg. We also have these two small yellow brackets right next to the doors here. That's again part of the Lufthansa branding with the one at the very front. We also have again a little sticker with the mouse. Then we also have the Star Alliance logo of which Lufthansa of course is a founding member and once again the Lufthansa branding right under the cockpit windows. That of course leads us to the cockpit section that is perhaps a little bit bare boned but we do at least have the window wipers printed on. The engine itself have been kept in all white, just as most of the fuselage. We do have the nice uh, silver leading edge. Also, if you look from the backside, I think that looks rather nice. And of course, as always, if you look into the engines from the front, we can then very nicely see the engine fan blades. If we then take a quick look at the wings, we can see here on the top side, we have all the different flaps, slats and spoilers carved out very nicely. We also have the markings as to where to walk on the wings. Super nice. And of course, if we look at the other side, we then again have this little addition of the sticker with the mouse and the elephant holding on to the wings. I think that's a really lovely little detail. Also, the underside of the wings, I think, look really nice here. And then, of course, as this is a relatively old version of the A321, it still didn't come with the winglets as we know them today, only with these wing fences. But I do think that Hapa has pulled them off rather nicely. Then we can also quickly take a look at the landing gear here, the main landing gear underneath the wings. That is pretty much the standard landing gear we get with all A320 family aircraft from Hapa Wings in scale 500 at the moment. I think that's pretty decent. The front end gear, yes, also it's, I, I would say it's decent. We have seen it better in earlier versions, but it's it's still quite all right. And then last but not least, we do have the doors to the car compartments printed on here in the back side of the aircraft and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A321-100 in the current livery of Lufthansa with the mouse and the elephant sticker. So what can we say about this aircraft model? Well, I think it's overall a rather good one. In my opinion, we do still have an issue that the Lufthansa Blue on the tail is slightly too dark. It's definitely not an easy job for Harper Wings to get this right because even Lufthansa didn't get it right when they applied this livery in the beginning. Uh, and the color is just really difficult to get right because it's one of these colors that just changes its tone depending on what light you're seeing it in. Some colors are fairly consistent and some colors 
seem to always change and this is one of them so I'm not sure Herpa could ever get it right. When it comes to the rest of the print I think Herpa has done an excellent job. I really like the physical details on this aircraft model especially the wings have been pulled off very nicely so I'd say it's a very nice aircraft to have in one's collection. With that we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like that really does help us out and of course if you are new around here why not hit subscribe that would be absolutely awesome. With that I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.